This is not going how I need it to go. Ain't no way I'm finna be happy. <laughs> I'm upset. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are now tuned into Jaja's Mic, home of the world's toughest leaders. It's a pleasure to have you. If this is your first time joining a community, <laughs> make sure you hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to leadership, mental health, personal development. We're here for you. Today, 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 I've been called to talk about one thing specifically, my leader. This season of your life, I've been getting a lot of this from you. And you came to me the other day and you said, Jaja, and in my words, it sounded like you said, Jaja, I'm stuck on disappointment. And I want to reenact the spirit of the soul that came to me. Ja, 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 let me tell you something. I, I, I made these plans. I've written them down meticulously. I've spent months and years on the execution of the idea. It was a thought amongst my heart and my spirit. And ja, ja, when I went to, when I went to go execute it, I could not get the results that I wanted. So I went back and I tried it again. I still cannot get the results I wanted. I'm stuck on disappointment. So I went out, I went out, and I and I tried it again, and I still couldn't get the results that I needed. I just, it's not working right now. I'm confused, John. I'm confused. I am stuck on disappointment. It, it has to go this way. This is the plan. I'm, I'm very meticulous about what I do. And for this not to be working, I just don't understand. Ja! I'm stuck on disappointment. So my leader, I hear you. I hear your spirit, I hear your soul, I know what you're going through. And I wanna connect this real quick, my leader, I want you to go to Proverbs. Y'all know my favorite, Proverbs. And when you go to Proverbs, I want you to go to, actually, uh-oh, Romans. Hello, Romans 14, 22. In Romans 14, 22, it reads, the faith that you have, have it in accord with yourself in the sight of God. Next sentence, which is what this speech is based on, happy is the man that does not put himself on judgment by what he approves, my God. Happy is the man that does not put himself on judgment by what he approves. This is about to get exciting right now. This is gonna get very exciting. I remember very specifically, very vividly, a great personal encounter with expecting things to go my way. I, it's high school. I'm dating my high school, what, is, what I thought was going to be my high school sweetheart. And I'm gonna relate this to relationship because my leaders, that's what's been coming to me a lot, especially from a lot of other leaders. They're dealing with relationship issues that they thought should be going their way and it's just, it's just not. <laughs> it's just not happening. And I remember very specific, I'm going to go off to college with my high school sweetheart. 
It's gonna go this way. I'm going to take my SAT. Yes. And we're going to go off into the sunset together. And once we go to college, we're going to, you know, get a place together. Oh, yes, we are, Lord. Yes, we are. Yes. After we graduate, we're gonna we're gonna marry. Oh, yes, we are. Woo! And then these kids coming next. Absolutely. By the time I'm this age and this age, I'll be working at this job. Oh, yes, I am, Lord. None of it went as planned. <laughs> none of it, none of it went as planned. Like, hear me out, hear me out. This was very organized. It was very detailed. It had to go this way. My heart was in the right place. This woman loves me. I love this woman. This job or these type of opportunities are destined to happen for me. For crying out loud, I'm a man of God. Lord, you've never let me down. You've never let me down. Happy is the man. My leaders, I was, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. And the reason I wasn't happy is because things were not going my way. The text, the scriptures is saying, you should look at it in the sight of God. But at the time of disappointment, I was looking at it from the side of me. This is not going how I need it to go. Ain't no way I'm finna be happy. <laughs> I'm upset. I'm very upset. This is a challenging time. What are you trying to teach me, God? Matter of fact, I'm so distracted with my anger, I, I don't care what you're trying to teach me. It doesn't matter. And my leader, I got in that space, still being happy, but deep down in my heart, knowing that, Lord, nah, man, this is, you're not, I know you're not teaching me nothing right now. I must have did something wrong. Maybe I got to replan. Maybe I got to re-strategize. So over and over and over and over again, I'm thinking about other things that I could possibly do. Not understanding that in the sight of God, this went exactly how it was supposed to go. In the sight of God, that relationship wasn't supposed to work. In the sight of God, that college was not the college in which I was supposed to go to. In the sight of God, that city was not the city that I was supposed to go to. In the sight of God, those habits were not the habits I was supposed to develop. In the sight of God, God, that knowledge and that information with those expectations were not the things that I needed to grow into the man of God that the Lord Jesus Christ wanted me to be. In the sight of God. But when we, when we forget, which is what I did, you end up being at a place of complete confusion. Because you're not looking at it from a spiritual standpoint. And because you're not looking at it from a spiritual standpoint, you cannot see the benefits. And so because you cannot see the benefits, you cease to be happy that God is actually working for your life. So instead of being happy, you're stuck on disappointment. My leader, I want you to get out of being stuck on disappointment. I want you to get out of your rut. You're not going through anything that wasn't intentionally made to benefit you. No, regardless of what it is but you will continue to harm yourself in the future that God has planned for you if you continue to be stuck on disappointment 
So what do you do when the thing which you plan does not go according to how you originally envisioned? You change your perspective. This is where the proverb comes in. This is where our Romans 14, 22 comes in. And this is where our leadership challenge begins. My leader. Here's what I want you to do. Leadership challenge. I want you to ask yourself right now, what things in your life are you truly intrinsically disappointed about? I want you to find these things that you are intrinsically disappointed about. And I need you, once again, writing is a psycho neuromotor activity. I want you to write this down. Write it down on a sheet of paper. You need to identify these things. Because once again, you're stuck on disappointment when you should be looking at this circumstance from the sight of God. Romans 14, 22. And once you identify exactly what it is from the heart, nobody's looking at you, remember that. Once you identify this thing, I need you to ask the Lord, dear Lord, Heavenly Father, Thank you once again for allowing me to partake in this leadership challenge. Dear Lord, I, I ask that you sincerely guide me towards the things that you are truly calling me to understand this season. Father, my heart has been stuck on disappointment. Lord, my heart has been stuck on the hurt and the distraught that I'm feeling from your disapproval, your reproof, and I need you to guide me in a way that allows me to understand the benefit of the thing that I thought was going to happen, which didn't happen. This season of my life, I truly want you to dissect the things of my heart and allow me to have more clarity. Lord, I've made all these plans and I know you're guiding me, but Father, show me and tell me why you did not allow the thing in which I wanted in the deepest depths of my heart to happen. Tell me why that opportunity didn't happen. Tell me why that, that, that relationship didn't work. Tell me why I didn't get that job. Tell me why I couldn't go over to that city. Tell me why my loved one passed away. Father, show it to me. What is the benefit this season of my life? Father, guide me in this leadership challenge today. Because, Father, I know that if you can show me exactly, exactly why it is that I'm stuck on disappointment this season, my life will be changed. But, Father, today, today, lead me. Lead me. Lead me in your direction. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And my leader, if you continue to move forward this season, clarify and identify exactly why you're stuck on disappointment, I'm a firm believer that your life will be changed. We are...